Now, when Neo talks about Firefly being a small, high-end brand, many of the people still don't understand or don't get it as to why is Neo claiming or making these kind of claims. Well, have a look at this video. Now can you see what's really happening there? Firefly is parking itself, which is something that is great because this again demonstrates the capabilities of what Firefly can do. Firefly is not only a small car, but it is a car that comes or that offers premium experience. It is not many small cars that can do or that can give you these features and therefore it makes Firefly sub-brand to be high-end. It might be a small car, but this is a car with some pretty great exciting features. Looking at how you access the car, looking at how you open the trunk, how you close the trunk, you and me can agree that Firefly is a high-end small car. You cannot compare it with just any other small car out there in the market because look man, you don't have to, opening a trunk, you don't, you just press a button, you press a button to close the trunk, you high-end feature, which is something that is great and something that obviously just speaks volumes about Firefly. The features like uh, parking features, this is what Firefly can do. And my friends, I'm here to tell you and I thought I come and remind you that Firefly, it is expected or it will do so well. I mean, one thing that we know about Firefly is that it is built based on five star euro and cap ratings which is something that is great, something that is very exciting. And this, my dear friends, is why I am invested on Tonio for the very first place. So yeah, man, I mean, one of the things that stands out on Neo, someone texted me midweek to say that, were you aware that in as much as Firefly falls under small cars category, it has got nine airbags? I'm like, yeah, that is what makes it to be so special. When other small cars are not having that much airbags, Neo decided not to compromise in terms of safeties on the safety of this car, which is why it was built based on a five-star Euro and cap rating, which is something that is great because with this, it will make this car to even sell more because not only are you buying a small car with high-end technology, but you are also buying a small car with some high safety standards, which I suppose this is a good thing. So I am happy, man. I am excited. Seeing this from Firefly, I can tell you that we can expect great things to come. We can expect even great news to come out of a Firefly. It is only the beginning. I know right now those that are buying Firefly cannot go to battery swapping stations and swap or complete a battery swapping. But one thing for sure is that as of the uh, start of 2026, we can start expecting to see Firefly going to newest battery shopping stations or fifth generation battery shopping stations and complete a battery swap. Initially, Neo wanted to have or wanted Firefly to have its own battery swapping stations, but they realized that this is not cost effective, which is why they decided that they are going to integrate Firefly battery swapping stations into those that Neo and Onvo can also go and perform a battery swap, which is something that is great. So I am happy, man. I am excited to be reminded of what, what a good quality car Firefly is. You and me can agree that I've, this is a car that we can expect great numbers to come from when you look into Neo. I know Neo said that Firefly, okay, okay, they are expecting at least it to sell 10% of the total Neo sales or to contribute 10% of the 
on the total NEO sales, but I believe that that is an understatement. The, the NEO just don't want to over predict and under deliver like what we saw with, the, with their family oriented brand Onvo, right? They want to make sure that they at least under predict and over deliver, which is always good and makes investors to, of course, love that. So I think Firefly has got the capabilities of doing so well, contributing 20, 30% of news total sales. And we are going to see that happening from this month. We are going to see that taking place from this month. And this, my dear friend, it's good news. This is the confidence that we have onto Neo from this month. And that is in this whole month, since it is going to be the first month that Firefly is being delivered, we can expect great things, great stuff, and we can expect Neo sales deliveries to improve even more, take it to the next level, which is something that is just so amazing. Yesterday, I did a video where we were talking about the 2025 festive models. Uh, pre-orders opening with some pretty good decent incentives of 240 uh, battery swapping coupons which enables those that of course want to swap the batteries on their 2025 neo models to do so and don't do and not pay a battery swapping swapping service fee of 25 dollars which is something that is great right because they rather than cutting the price of the car they are going and put an incentive of the after sale service technology called the battery swapping, which is just so amazing. So I am happy. I am excited. Blue sky is coming long term will win. Those that are persevering throughout their dues of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time. I know share price wise, Neo might not be where we want it to, but this is a car that is expected to do very well. This is a car company that we can expect it to do very well based off what they've been doing based off what they've been launching i have no doubt in my mind that we'll see this car brand do so well tell me what you think about this blue sky is coming long term will win those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time like share subscribe hit that notification bell i will see you on the next one that's all from me my dear friends and god bless you all mm -hmm.